Greetings class, this is Dr. York Hammonds again. I've had a few questions about how to open the data in StatCrunch from your homework. So I've gone to the study plan and opened a question about stem and leaf plots. Uh, you notice the question is 2.2.17, 2 so I'm in chapter two, section two, similar to question number 17 on the exercises at the end of that section. So one of the easiest ways to do this, you'll notice there are some little boxes. They look like a double block box, and if you get close to it, the icon pops up and says click to copy table. But if you click on it, the first option is to open in StatCrunch. So I'm going to open the table in StatCrunch, and it takes a little bit of time for StatCrunch to work and load, but there you are. It loaded that data in the column VAR1, and these are heights of eruptions by a geyser. So if you'd like to relabel VAR1 as heights of eruptions, you're more than welcome to do that. And today's short lesson is just going to be how to create a stem and leaf plot because often the ones that come from uh, stat crunch don't exactly look like the ones you see in your homework. So I'm going to go to graph and if you scroll down, you will see stem and leaf. So let's click on stem and leaf. Uh, like before, there's a white box and you have to select the data that you want to work with. So we click on height of eruptions and it shows up in the white box. Uh, the leaf unit is optional. I'm going to do no outlier trimming. Uh, we'll talk about outliers uh, a little later on, but for us right now, we'll do uh, no outlier, none for outlier trimming. And then we're going to click on compute. And what happens is, is that you see a stem and leaf plot. As, what op as often happens in StatCrunch, they do a double stem. So you see the stem nine twice. The leaf unit over here is worth 1, and so the stem unit over here is worth 10. So we have 9 tens, or 90, plus 0 means that height of that eruption is 90. Then you see that it's split. We have a 9, 6, which is 96, and then we have a 9, 8, which is 98. So when you look at this, it's going to split them. Zero to four will go in the bottom row, and anything five through nine will go in the second row. So when we look at the ones that are at least 100 in height, we have 100. We have another zero, 10, and zero, so that's another 100. A 10 and a three is 103. Then it splits, and you have 10, 6, 8, 9. So that's 106, 108 and 109 and they continue on and you see that the that this uh, stems are split going from 0 4 on the four on the first line 5 to 9 on the second so that when I look back at my homework I'm going to see if I can scoot this over just a little bit part of it's going to go out of the screen and then I'll have to move it back over where it's the closest if I can get all three answer choices so in the in my stat lab, you see they don't have double stems. So you have to look at 9 and see that there is a 0, 6, and 8 on the 9 row. So C looks good. B is already incorrect. I can mark it off, not even look at it any longer, because it does not have the 9 stem with the leaves 0, 6, and 8. However, A does have 9 with 0, 6, and 8. So we've got to check the row for 10. The stem of 10 should have... 0, 0, 3, and 6, 8, 9. C has 0, 0, 3, 6, 8, 9. So C looks good so far. Let's go check A. 10 only has 0, 3, 9. So automatically we know it's not A. Let's just go ahead and verify the rest of the stem and leaf plot. 11 has two zeros and a 5, 9. Two zeros, 5, 9. That checks it. The 12 stem has two zeros and a six. Again, you see the two zeros and a six. The 13 just has two zeros and nothing higher than zeros. So 13 has two zeros. 14 has a single zero and nothing in the five through nine range. So it just has the zero. 15 has a zero. 
so my stem of 15 has a zero leaf, so that's that represents 150 in terms of the height of a geyser. So we would select C because that's the one that's closest to the one that we get for uh, our stat crunch model. Every once in a while, you'll get a set of data that's going to give you something that looks exactly like what you see in my stat lab. But more, than, more often than not, you're going to see the double stems where they do 0 through 4 on the lower row and then anything five, any leaf 5 through 9 on the second row. I hope this helps with opening uh, your data from the homework as well as creating a stem and leaf plot. I'm going to pause and uh, try to find another stem and leaf that will work um, much like stat, uh, math, my stat lab homework. I apologize for the break, but I took a moment to find another example where when you do the stem and leaf plot in stat crunch, that you get something that looks exactly like what they want you to have in the my stat lab homework. So once again, we're going to look at the problem and notice they have a list of data and you see the double boxes. We click on that on those double boxes and select the open in stat crunch option and you see that it gave us 15 sets of data those are handheld computers and that's the price at which those handheld computers were sold so if you'd like to change var1 to prices of hand held computers feel free to do so and we want to do a stem and leaf plot uh, for this data. Stem and leaf plots are found, they are a type of graphical display, so we find them under the graph option. We scroll down to see stem and leaf, and once again we have to select in the blue column the data that we want to make a stem and leaf of plot of, which is the price of handheld computers. I'm going to do none for outlier trimming. We may look at that more later especially when we get to section five and look at box plots, chapter two, section five, box plots. I'm going to click on compute and notice that on this particular example that, that the stems are not double rows. You don't see two rows labeled 20. So the, it says the leaf unit is one so if the stem unit is 20, that means we have to have 200s, 0 tens, and 6 ones. So this is 206. For the row 21, that is 210 for the 210, and 211 for the 211. Then again, 228, which repeats to 228, then 229 and again 229. And I am not sure if it's because of the fact that we have a, a larger stem unit than we did in the previous problem, but I wanted you to see an example where the stem and leaf plot from my stat lab looks just like what you want um, in stat crunch. So I'm going to scoot this window over where I can see the question and I can see um, the prices. And I'm hoping that if I click on this, I'll still get to see. Okay, so it didn't. Um, the 20 has a 6, so I just type in a 6. I'm going to pull that other window back up. The stem of 21 has a 0 and a 1. So you type both. There's no commas or anything between them. The stem of 22 has 8899, so I type 8899. The stem of 23 has 88, that's two eights, 238, and then 238 again. The stem of 24 has leaves 2, 5, 8, 9, and 9, 2, 5, 8, 9, 9. And then the stem of 25 simply has one leaf of one. I'm going to check the answer and see if we got this problem right. I hope it says, oh yes, excellent, okay. So thank you for your time and I hope that this helps you see that there will be two different types of 
stem and leaf plots that you can see in StatCrunch um, to, in, from your homework. Have a good day.